Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really fun video and it's actually been requested from you guys. So I'm going to do a full face of makeup using my favourite high-end makeup products. So yeah, this is the look that I came up with using my favourite high-end makeup. Um, I think it's such a gorgeous look, you know, it's a really kind of natural look, it's great for everyday wear and this is the type of look that I go for like on an everyday basis really so I thought I may as well keep it quite, um, quite real with you, quite natural so like this is you know, my everyday look basically using um, all high-end makeup. Like, of course, I use drugstore and high-end makeup in my everyday routine. But today, I'm just using all high-end makeup for this look. So, guys, if you want to see how I got this makeup look and what products I use to create the look, then let's just go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my face and I'm going to use my serum. And it's a Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. So I really love this stuff, it makes your skin really glowy and just looks really healthy so yeah I'm going to apply this first of all and I just take like way one or two kind of drops of this on my hand and then I just rub it in to my fingers and then just apply it to my face like this and I just love it, I love the smell of it, I just love how it makes my skin uh, look and feel as well. So I'm just going to apply some lip balm because my lips have been feeling really dry lately and I'm just using this more I think it's called um, lip balm this is our lip macaron in the shade not the shade sorry the scent um, blood orange like this is absolutely gorgeous like I love the scent of this it's quite a thin lip balm so it doesn't really feel thick uh, on the lips which is good because I don't like anything too thick on my lips especially like during the day and things like that so yeah the scent of it is so nice, like I just want to eat it. Okay, so my favourite high-end foundation right now is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is so good, like it makes your skin look so flawless and it's actually really good for hot climates. You know, it's been really hot where I am right now and like it's been so good, like it doesn't make, like it doesn't get greasy on the skin. Um, like it is an oil-free foundation, so I think oil-free foundations are really good for warmer climates because you're not going to get any of that oily build up, it just keeps you really kind of mattified all day. Um, so yeah, I, I just absolutely love this foundation, I think it's just incredible. And it's also a foundation that makes you look really kind of flawless in photographs as well. Okay, so next I'm going to apply a concealer and I don't actually have a high-end concealer that I really love. So I'm just going to apply my favourite drugstore ones. Um, so I, I'm going to apply the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define and the Bourjois Radiance Review. I like to sort of like layer these two together because like this one is good for like really concealing everything and it gives you like this matte finish. Whereas um, this one here for Bourjois like gives you like a kind of lighter, brighter under eye if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to set my under eye concealer with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, I love this and as you can see I've hit pan in quite a few there. Um, so I'm going to use this shade here from the, pa uh, from the palette. This is just kind of like a nice um, brightening kind of translucent powder sort of thing. It just makes your concealer um, last all day and it kind of brightens the under eye as well which I really like. There's actually a high-end translucent powder that I've been really enjoying lately, but I'm going to save that for um, another video, like a summer makeup video, because I think it'll be more appropriate for that, because I've been really enjoying it just now. Um, so, yeah, I've been loving the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette for like a long time, but I've just recently got into this other translucent powder, which I'll share with you in another video coming up. And I actually also want to mention that I've been really enjoying this foundation here from Benefit. This is their new Hello Happy foundation. And yeah, I recently did a review on that, so I'll link it on the top of the screen for you. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this lately. I think it's a great um, foundation for this um, summertime as well. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because as much as I'm loving the Too Faced Peach Perfect, I'm also really liking that Benefit one as well. Um, okay, so let's move on to my favourite part, which is 
um, contour and bronzing. So again, I'm going to take the the Kat Von D. No, fact, I'm not actually. I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. That's what it looks like there. I really love this. It's quite deep, um, but it's also quite warm at the same time. And it's great for kind of contouring and bronzing. So I'm going to take this today. Um, that's what it looks like there. I'm just going to share with you actually a few of my favourite high-end bronzers actually just now. So um, another bronzer that I really love and I kind of keep for more kind of special occasions is the um, Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. And that's what it looks like there. This is the shade number three, Natural Brunettes. Um, I really love this. This is a bit warmer, like, well, obviously, much warmer than the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. As you can see, this has more of a kind of orangey undertone than the Chocolate Soleil. So this is pretty warm, and I really like using this in the summertime. But it's actually better when I have more of a dark tan, so that this sort of, like, doesn't look too... Um, orangey on my skin like it's still a gorgeous bronzer and I really recommend it I think it is amazing the powder is just so good in it um, and another bronzer that I really love is the NARS Laguna this has been like my go to for the past few months I just got this this year after after like so many years of seeing this bronzer and hearing so many great things about it I just recently picked it up this year um, but yeah I think it's amazing I highly recommend this it's really really good um, and I also really like the new bronze bronzer that's in the Too Faced um, natural face palette as well and um, that's really gorgeous but today I'm going to take the Too Faced chocolate filet okay I'm going to use the pink sands blush from the Too Faced natural face palette so that's what the shade looks like just right there it's kind of more like a mauvey blush color so i'm going to use that um, i've been really enjoying that lately you know me i don't like too much blush so that's all i'm going to do um, now i'm going to move on to my brows like i'll do my highlight at the end so i'm going to move on to my brows and i've been really loving this new brow product that i got it's not actually a new product but I mentioned a few videos back that I wanted like a new um, brow product because I was getting bored with the one I already had. As much as I loved the other one I used, like I just wanted something different, something new, fresh because like you know sometimes you just get bored of using the same makeup all the time. So I've been really loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow duo in the shade dark brown so that's what it looks like there. Um, yeah I mentioned that I was wanting to get this or like the Kat Von D one, like she came out with new powders um, and I, I just end up going with this one because I thought the shade in this like I just thought the shade would match me really well in this, like I wasn't too sure uh, what shade that would be in the Kat Von D one but I'd seen a few reviews on this and I just knew that this shade would be perfect for me so like I said this is the shade Dark Brown and I do have the little Anastasia brush somewhere like the brow brush if I can find it there we have it. Um, okay, so that's a little brow blush there. That's number 12. So I'm going to just fill in my brows with this. And I mostly use the dark shades, like in this side here. And I use a little bit of the light powder just for like the right inner corner part there, like this part right in there, just so it's not too, too dark there. But like I just love how this powder looks um, on, you know, my eyebrows. Like I feel like it really like defines them a lot more sort of thing, makes like shapes my face more, I don't know, something really nice with this powder. Okay, I'm now going to just set my brow hairs in place and I'm going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is this here, like I love this stuff, it's so good. Like it's also tinted as well so like if you can't be bothered filling your brows in you know with powder you can just go in with this and it really makes them look really natural and really kind of um, like full and just filled in. It's, it's just lovely. It's such a great um, brow gel thing. I've been using this for quite a long time as well. Okay, so for eyes, I'm just going to do something quite simple today. Like, I can't be bothered doing anything too dramatic or anything like that. And the palettes that I do have here, I have a few favourite high-end palettes. Um, I use 
probably more drugstore palettes than I do high end I think yeah there's a few drugstore ones that I really like but anyway I have a few here that I really do love that are high end and I'm going to share I have three here to share with you okay so the first one is the um, Naked no the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and um, that's what that one looks like there and this is a full on warm palette and the pigmentation and the formula of the shadows in, in this palette is so spot on, they're really good. Um, another high end palette I love is the the BAM Nutrid palette. So this is like a really old palette but it's like so good. So um, that's what the shades look like inside there. So there are kind of a bunch of more, I don't know like if they're kind of like cool tone or kind of neutral colours in there but I really love the kind of brown sultry shade in here and the sexy kind of cranberry shade here and the black shade is great in here and the kind of um, brown shade is really nice in here as well so that's a great palette for like everyday wear and I love it I think the formula and the pigmentation of that palette is great as well and then another palette like I absolutely love but I think it's like it's only limited edition so I don't think it's available anymore and it is the Becca Apre Ski palette. Now this is just a stunning palette like everything about this palette is just absolutely stunning like the shades in here are so pretty and the formula of the shadows in this is great like it's such a good palette for um, everyday wear and it suits many different skin tones as well because the palette is quite um, neutral like there's a few kind of like warmy shades in there like warm shades in there but um, I don't know there's something just quite like it's an easy palette to wear if you know what I mean yeah so uh, I'm not going to use that one today because I don't think it's available anymore so I'm going to use a few shades I think from the BAM palette um, yeah so I'm going to start off with the sultry shade here which is a kind of matte brown shade Okay, so I actually want the eyes to be a little bit warmer, so I'm actually going to take the Too Faced bronzer that we use for the cheeks. I'm just going to swirl my blending brush in that. Just apply a little bit of this to the eyes as well, because I feel like that shade, Sultry, is just a bit too um, cool tone for this look that I'm going for. Like, I don't know if this will even help, um, but let's just go with it. you know guys I'm so tired like see the more that I'm actually doing my eyes here and like blending and blending like it's making me really sleepy like I don't know what it is I'm being so tired the past few days like I don't know if it's maybe like the weather or something I don't know but I've just been so tired and like I really don't want, I don't want to do much more to my eyes because I feel like if I do any more I'll fall asleep so yeah I think I'm just going to leave it like that like um, as I said I love those palettes the the Bam Nutrude, the Urban Decay Naked Tea and the Becca Apri Ski palette they are three of my like favourite high end eyeshadow palettes if you know what I mean so yeah let's just put some um, wind liner on I've been really enjoying lately um no wait is it the Laura Gala Line and Define Eyeliner, I couldn't get the name there. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying this. Um, I've been loving the coal side and I've also been loving the felt tip side because as you can see, it is a duo. Okay guys, so I'm now going to move on to mascara. And um, I have two mascaras here that I want to share with you because I love both of them. But there's one that I'm going to use today because I've been using it over the past few weeks. No, not a few weeks, sorry, just about the past week I've been using it. And I've been really, really enjoying it. Like, um, the first one anyway that I do really love is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is so, so good. Like, I've used this for a long time now, as you guys have seen on my channel. I use that quite a lot when I do more of my dramatic eye looks because it's really jet black and it gives you really kind of spidery long lashes. And the other mascara that I've been really enjoying lately is the Benefit Roller Lash 
Now, I actually got this a little while ago and when I when I first used it I thought oh that's just okay but this past week I've tried it again and I'm really really loving it I love how it makes my lashes look and it's actually quite jet black as well um so yeah I'm going to use this today Okay guys, so I'm going to add my highlight and I'm going to use the Illamasqua Beyond Powder in OMG. I've used this for a long time as you guys know. I swear by it, I think it's good. It's like my go-to highlight when I don't know kind of like what highlight to wear. You know what I mean? Like I have a good few high-end highlights but there's something about this one I just always gravitate towards like and I always go back to because it's like a champagne shade so it's really really good for my skin tone. So yeah, and, and I love that it doesn't really emphasise much much texture and things like that as well. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this today. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, highlight, you know, I'll wear it some days and some days I won't sort of thing. Um, But, yeah, I, I don't like too much. I don't like a blinding highlight. Uh, I suppose it's alright for, like, night time and things like that. I have done it a few times for night, but... During the day, I'll wear a little bit or I'll like wear none really. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to take a little bit of it into my inner corners as well. So I kind of find a brush that's actually clean here from my inner corners. I'm just going to use um, like this thing. <laughs> it's, it's not even the right brush at all, but it's just so that I can plop something just right here. Um, yeah, just right in that area in there. Like, I like a little pop in there, it just kind of like awakens the eye a little bit more, makes you look a little bit more put together sort of thing and completes an eye look I think. Okay, so let's move on to lipstick and I have a few here to share with you. So the first one that I really love, like I totally, totally adore this lipstick and it is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in the shade um, Nude and Private. Um, or number nine, like I think they go by numbers more, but they do have names. Um, but this is Nude and Private. This is my favourite, favourite. I think it's probably my favourite high end lipstick ever. Like it's so versatile and it's so easy to put on and to wear. Um, it feels comfortable as well, and it's really easy to reapply as well because it is more of a shine finish. You know, a sheer shine finish. So you can sort of just reapply it on the go super super quickly and another one of my favourites is the Too Faced um, what are these called again? Peach Peach something lipsticks um, I can't remember what they're called but this is the shade Sunday Fundy now this is like a, a matte finish now sometimes I like to put a gloss on top of mattes um, I just I don't know I, I love a gloss but this is such a lovely shade that I like to wear this um, quite a lot and sometimes, as I said, I'll put the gloss on top. Yeah, it's really comfortable on the lips, this. So that's another one of my favourites. Um, I also love Max Velvet Teddy. Um, that's what that one looks like there. Again, this one has more of a matte finish as well. Sometimes I'll put gloss on, sometimes I won't. And then another one of my favourite lipsticks is the Chantikai, um Lip Chic in the shade... Anise or something, I never know how to pronounce this, um, but that's that one there. This is a really gorgeous kind of glossy, like a glossy creamy finish to it. It's so pretty. And then the other one, another one of my favourites is the Too Faced Natural Nudes, is this called? I can't remember this, is it? Is this? I think this is called Natural Nudes or something, um, and this shade Birthday Soup. So that's what that one looks like. Um, again, as you can see, they're all like nude shades. You know me, I just love my nudes. Um, they're just so easy uh, to wear. Oh, and a liquid lipstick that I really love is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lip in the shade um, Rising Star. I also love um, Charlotte Darling. Um, I love, what's the other one called again? Um, Dolly Bird. I really like that one as well. But for today's look, I'm going to apply the YSL Rouge Lip Shine. Okay, and then I like to lock in all this makeup with the MAC Fix Plus. So I'm going to spray this. 
So this is the completed look and I absolutely love this um, look. I do this a lot, like this type of look because it's really, really natural and easy to wear every day. And I use a mix of drugstore and high-end makeup in my everyday makeup routine. But yeah, this was such a fun video to do and I really hope you guys liked and enjoyed it. So I'll leave all the products that I used listed in the description box for you and come and follow me over on Instagram guys. I'll just leave the handle right here on the screen for you. Like I would love for you to follow me over there and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then please do and give the video a big thumbs up and I will speak to you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.